Men desperately chase women who do these six things. So, what drives a man to chase a woman desperately? When you know how to display that you're a valuable woman, a man recognizes he can't receive the same fantastic package from any other woman, and the right man will go to any length to get you into his life. But let's go deeper into what makes a man want to chase you. Here are six things that will entice a quality man to pursue you immediately. Number one, become a powerful, charismatic woman. There's always a woman in your workplace or school who catches everyone's attention and continuously wins the hearts of those around her. We may describe her as charismatic. Being charismatic allows others to feel at ease and connect with you on a more intimate level. But is charisma something that we're born with or not? Well, studies demonstrate that we may build such an aura around ourselves even if we're not born with it. Here are some things you should do more to be a charismatic person. Maintain an open body language by facing men whenever they speak and being calm. Regardless of how overwhelmed you are by their presence, make an effort to keep eye contact. Be humble, take compliments with grace, and always give credit to people who helped you in achieving your goals. Socialize and show genuine interest in the lives of others. Not only will you have a wealth of stories to share, but you'll also broaden your world view and seem attractive in front of him. Building more charisma into your personality will draw his attention like a magnet, making him want to spend more time with you. While this attribute appears immeasurable and abstract, you may concentrate on another tangible quality. Number two, be feminine. One of my friends once said, men prefer a woman who acts like a woman. Before you beat me up over it, let me say this. The good news is that the term woman refers to a broad range of characteristics. Becoming more feminine and soft might increase your attractiveness as a woman. Not only that, but it makes you feel more alive and helps you become more of who you truly are. Feminine energy looks like a captivating woman who draws attention, admiration, and connection simply by embodying life. Someone who exudes feminine energy catches the attention of others and evokes a desire to connect and be at one with them. But there is no one-size-fits-all model for an ideal woman. Some men like a woman who says it like it is and is the life of the party, while others prefer women who are more reserved on the social spectrum. Define what femininity means to you and then cultivate it for yourself. Number three, being totally happy on your own. Being yearning for a relationship is not what's going to get you a relationship. If anything, it actually repels men. It is natural to desire to be in a relationship. We're human, and connection is a fundamental need. However, it gets problematic when you attach things to having a relationship, meaning that you believe you won't be happy, confident, healed, or content in your own skin until you have a partner. When you do this, you're basically disregarding your issue and what has to be addressed. You're falling into the as soon as possible trap, and that's an easy trap to fall into. I'll be satisfied as soon as I have X amount of money in the bank, as soon as I bought my own house, as soon as I lost 15 pounds. But happiness does not form as soon as. You cannot put restrictions on your happiness. You must accept where you are in life. If you're single, embrace it. Trust me, after that one season is over, you'll never get it back and you'll miss it. So embrace it. If you willingly embrace your life and appreciate it for what it is right now, you'll be alluring and attractive. Before I started dating my wife, I adored being alone. This happened after years of hating and being ashamed of my single status. But I made a decision to do things differently. I chose to simply appreciate and accept it. When my wife came into the picture, I was really thrilled. We had dated in high school and I never truly got over her, so I was thrilled to give it another shot. But I'll admit, I was a bit sad about losing that single life. And because I adored my life, she became even more drawn to me, and she simply wanted to be a part of it. And it wasn't just her. I don't believe I've ever attracted as many women as I did when I was completely in love with just being single. Number four, you put yourself first. In the initial stages, please be a bit selfish and prioritize yourself. I'm telling you this because it's not something most women do. Most women prioritize the man, including his desires, needs, and emotions. 
They spend so much time focused on how he feels and what he wants that their own goals and needs are completely forgotten. And this is not enticing. Don't place the guy on a pedestal and strive to be everything you think he wants in order to prove that you're perfect together or he made the right decision to date you. Once you and he are more serious and established, you can invest more and make the necessary compromises for a good relationship. But that's later. At first, you're not proving your worth to him. You're just functioning from a position of understanding your worth and feeling safe within yourself. Don't dwell on questions like, does he like me? Instead, consider, do I like him? Is he worthy of me? Number five, have boundaries. When you like a man and want him to like you, your natural reaction may be to be as accommodating as possible. If he asks you to help him clean his house on the weekend, you will. If he waits until the last minute to make plans, you don't say anything since you want to appear calm and laid back. This is not attractive, high-value conduct. A guy may keep a woman like this around for a time because she makes things easier and more convenient for him, but she's not the type of woman he'll truly be interested in. This is a woman he takes for granted rather than one he prioritizes. This is the type of woman who ends up blindsided when he suddenly leaves her in favor of another. Boundaries are attractive. Knowing what you deserve and refusing to accept anything less is attractive. This is what motivates a man to put up his best effort to win you over. And when he puts in the effort, he begins to invest and care deeply about you. Don't be scared to draw a line in the sand. If you're worried that doing so would drive him away, then he wasn't interested in the first place and you've just saved yourself from wasting more time. Number six, don't give yourself away right away. I'm not talking about sex, though I do have separate videos on it. I'm talking about your emotional self. You don't have to put everything out there on the table. Many women believe that they must display all their cards up front. She must demonstrate her intelligence, humor, education, friendliness, and culinary skills to him. Otherwise, he'll be clueless. He'll find out eventually. It's vital to hold back just a little bit in order to maintain a sense of mystery. I say these lines with such caution since there's been a lot of criticism about playing games in recent years, and rightfully so, but this isn't a game. It's just the art of attraction and seduction. It all boils down to being a highly valued woman. Games can be an efficient way to entice men. They provide an illusion of confidence, but it's only an illusion. You can't maintain the illusion forever. Your true personality is going to come out. I do not want you to pretend to be a confident, high-value woman. I want you to be one. And this type of woman does not do a whole song and dance to impress a man. She can hold back a bit until he's earned the right to peel back a few more layers and discover more about the real her. Well, there you have it. Hope it helped, and thanks for watching.